Hi, this is Jarek from Re3D, and in this video we're going to go through the software side of the printing workflow with Simplify 3D. Again, you can use your own slicing program and printer host, but the general steps will remain the same. You're going to need an STL file that goes into the slicer, and then you make your G-code that Gigabot uses to print your part. And while most of our customers will design their own parts and STLs, you can also download many different models for free online. There are numerous online repositories of 3D designs such as Thingiverse, GrabCAD, My Mini Factory, and more. Uh, and we use the, this great site called uh, Sketchfab to store models for Gigabot printed parts as well as other kinds of parts. And for your first print, we'd recommend something like this Moai Man, which is our lovable mascot. It's a simple design that will allow you to assess your printer's calibration. So in your browser, go to sketchfab.com re3d and look for this part titled the re3d Moai Man and download it. You'll need to unzip the folder and save the STL to a desired location and then you can open it up in Simplify 3D. So once you've opened Simplify 3D you can go to the left side of the window and click on import and you can uh, select the STL that you just downloaded it should be titled Re3D Moai or some variation thereof And you can see we get a warning here for which dimensions we're using. Generally, we like to work in millimeters, so in the future, be sure to export your STLs and scale them to millimeters. If, let, if left at its original scale, our MOI uh, would turn out very small. But for the sake of our example, I'll let C Simplify 3D convert the scale of the model. <clears throat> and you can see that it's already at a decent size, at about uh, 259 millimeters, or about 10 inches tall. Now this would already take a decent amount of time and material to print, but as our first print, let's take it down a notch. So you can double click the model, and Simplify 3D will show several parameters that you can edit to manipulate the part. Right now we're interested in this area that says change scaling. And you can see that uh, when it was converted uh, from inches to millimeters, it changed our scale percentage to about 2,540%. Now if I bring that back, to its original value of 100%, press enter, uh, you can see that the model is much, much smaller. Also note that by default, uniform scaling is enabled, meaning that changing one of these numbers will also change the other dimensions to match. Now let's bring this MOI back up to something a little more substantial, say about 1,000%. And the part is centered when you first import your object, but if for some reason it's out of place, you can rearrange it by clicking on Center and Arrange. And on the left side of the window, under Processes, click Edit Process Settings. This opens a window that has all of the print parameters that correspond to this specific process. Check the uh, Select Profile setting to make sure you've selected the proper profile, and we have. Check that you have selected the right filament, we recommend trying PLA on your first print, and uh, fully, fully assembled Gigabots will already include PLA preloaded in the left side uh, hot end. <clears throat> on the print quality drop down, you can also choose the desired resolution setting. Here I'm going to leave it at the standard resolution with no raft, uh, which will be the fastest printing option. On the auto configure extruders drop down, customers who received a fil fully assembled Gigabot uh, should choose left extruder. Otherwise, feel free to choose whichever extruder has filament loaded already. And as a side note, the convention we use is that the front of the machine has the nameplate that says Gigabot, so references to left or right should take, take that into account. Then you can select your infill percentage with this slider. Uh, for this calibration print, we can do uh, 15%. And clicking on Show Advanced will reveal multiple tabs that give you a lot of control and customization but our pre-configured settings are adequate for most prints. So finally you can click OK to close the window and you can click prepare to print. This takes you to the preview mode which gives lots of helpful information such as the uh, estimates and printing time and material usage. You can also look at the animation of the print job or use the sliders below to look at each layer individually and analyze your print for any possible issues prior to printing. At the bottom left of the window, you will see the option Save Toolpath to Disk, 
we highly recommend printing via the micro SD card use, and using uh, that micro SD card slot on the Vicky controller that comes with Gigabot. Uh, if the computer goes to sleep or some other interference occurs um, uh, via printing with USB, this will disrupt the printing process. Click on Save Tool Paths to Disk, and you can choose your own file name and then save it to your micro SD card. Uh, Simplify 3D will automatically give it a uh, .g code file extension. And once you save that, you're ready to print.